question, any concern? It's fine. It's fine. Moved by Senator Harmon. Please call the roll. Senators Alquist. Aye. Alquist, aye. De Leon? Aye. De Leon, aye. Fuller? Aye. Fuller, aye. Harmon? Aye. Harmon, aye. Steinberg? Aye. Steinberg. That measure passes. Number two, we have governor's appointees not required to appear. I understand we want to split the question at the request of the Republican members. Let's take 2A. Andrew D. Green is a member of the California Arts Council. Moved by Senator Alquist. Please call the roll. Senators Alquist. Aye. Alquist, aye. De Leon? Aye. De Leon, aye. Fuller? Aye. Fuller, aye. Harmon? Aye. Harmon, aye. Steinberg? Aye. Steinberg, aye. It's five to nothing. That'll move to our floor. Uh, Terry Lenahan is a member of the California Arts Council, moved by Senator De Leon. Please call the roll. Senators Alquist? Aye. Alquist, aye. De Leon? Aye. De Leon, aye. Fuller? No. Fuller, no. Harmon? No. Harmon, no. Steinberg? Aye. Steinberg, aye. That passes three to two, and we'll also go to the floor. Um, now, on the issue of uh, select committees, uh, I've had a... Um, a productive conversation both with Senator Dutton and with Senator Harmon about this issue. And I'll, of course, let Senator Harmon speak for himself on this. But I think the concern that I have heard is to make sure that as we approve select committees, and certainly if there are staff associated with select committees, although Mr. Schmidt will make a report on that in, in just a moment, that we make sure that the select committees produce product or, or show that over the course of the two years session that they are actually engaging in work because we know many of them do but some of them you know stay on the letterhead etc um, and uh, I think it's reasonable to ask that um, over the course of the two years that, that there be some work products so at the same time we have members who are chomping at the bit to get started with some of their select committee work. So Senator Harmon and I went around the corner here a few minutes ago and we cut the deal of all deals here. Um, and namely what we want to do with the following exceptions, we want to put off for one week the select committees with the following exceptions. And, uh, what, and the exceptions are this. Number three, Senator Alquist select committee. Number seven, Eight and nine, Senator Corbett's committees. Number 14 and 15, Senator De Leon's committee. Committee, excuse me, and number 24 and 25, Senator Lowenthal's select committees. Now, everybody else is, I know, watching this in their offices and at home. We're going to get to your uh, select committees next week, but we want to ask Mr. Schmidt to bring forward, let's call it a a policy paper here that the Rules Committee can look at and potentially adopt that tightens it up a little bit in terms of the work product that the Rules Committee expects um, go, going forward. All right? Is that uh, Senator Harmon? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, that does uh, accurately state uh, what you and I agreed on, and I thank you for your cooperation in that regard, and I would be uh, more than happy to uh, move approval of items 3, 7, 8, 9, 14, 15, 24, and 25. Very good. And we won't take up Senator Steinberg's select committee request uh, this week. <laughs> Probably got other things going on anyway. Okay. Uh, that's been moved by Senator Harmon. Please call the roll. Senators Alquist. Aye. Alquist, aye. De Leon. Aye. De Leon, aye. Fuller. Aye. Fuller, aye. Harmon. Aye. Harmon, aye. Steinberg. Aye. Steinberg, aye. That's five nothing. Very good. And then we will uh, plan to take up the remainder of them next week, but with a policy overlay that the Rules Committee would also uh, presumably vote on. Okay. On, on item 42, the session schedule, I had a conversation with Senator Dutton prior to uh, coming on in here, and there, w with some of the cutbacks with the uh, airline schedules, I understand that there are some issues uh, about Monday morning flights at reasonable hours. And so, what's that? Sunday night. Sunday night. I, I understand. This is the way I'd, I'd like to propose we do this. When the session gets going and we've got bills, we're going at noon, and members have to get here on they have to get here on Sunday nights or early in the morning. And I'm sorry, but the workload of the house will demand that. But until 
you know, I mean, we can kind of take it week by week, I guess would be my proposal, <laughs> that we take it week by week, because where there, is suffi where, where there is sufficient work, and it may be in two weeks, it may be three weeks, it, you know, that, that we're going to have the discretion, if you will, to go to, uh, to 12 o'clock. Okay? So if, if Mall at two for now. Well, just with, with the flexibility, you know, the, the flexibility here to move it, move them to noon um, as circumstances require. Is that all right? Yes, it is. Okay, moved. Okay. Moved by, okay, go. Senators Alquist? Aye. Alquist, aye. De Leon? Aye. De Leon, aye. Fuller? Aye. Fuller, aye. Harmon? Aye. Harmon, aye. Steinberg? Aye. Steinberg, aye. Thank you. Sir. All right, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Then under that policy, the uh, session for this coming Monday, which I announced in your absence uh, on the floor as we concluded at noon, will in fact be at 2 o'clock. I think we can change it to 2, however, subject to the call of the pro tem, because remember, we're on call, and it okay. may be that we're going to need people here earlier on, you know, earlier yeah, on Monday. What we just voted on was April and July. <laughs> All right. Then uh, is there that a... vote didn't change the announcement, unless you just... I understand. Said. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, it did. So it was April, July. Yeah, and I think you know, just so the expectation is clear, coming April, when bills start getting out of committees, that bill factory thing that somebody talked about today, um, we, you know, we're probably going to need to go noon sooner than later. So I, I understand that. Could I get a edification then on Monday's hearing? Monday, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay, we'll change it to two. Inlet, but or on the call. You know, I understand. or on the call and, if we uh, need to come the, sooner. The, uh, Proper notice will be sent to all members because they're laboring under the sure, impression that they're not relevant. Sure. Thank you. Okay. And we've got uh, items uh, 44 through 46, including the controversial California Safe Digging Month resolution. <laughs> Do you want to do the walk-ons with those as well? And let's do the walk-ons as well. Oh, what, one of them is a select committee, Ted Liu, oh, right. so we probably want to put that off a week, right? Yes. So we'll put that one off a week. Let's do 44 through 46 and two and and two and three on the walk-on items. And item 43, item 43, Mr. Chair, did oh, you that's inadvertently all. skip that? It, it was already done. Oh, it was. It was Thank already you. done. Yeah, I think Senator Canella did that this week. Did that today? Did it today. Oh, so. Today's run together. So let's, uh, can I have a motion on 44 through 46 and items 2 and 3 on the walk-on calendar? So moved by Senator Fuller. Please call the roll. Senators Alquist. Alquist, aye. De Leon. De Leon, aye. Fuller. Aye. Fuller, aye. Harmon. Aye. Harmon, aye. Steinberg. Aye. Steinberg, aye. Very good. Uh, executive session. Uh, we have... Uh, <laughs>